Welcome back guys. So in this video, we're going to be wrapping up the detailed portion of the series. So without further ado, let's begin at the bottom area. So we don't have a lot of reference to go off of from this, but um, we can kind of eyeball it and kind of see where to go from there. So we'll select this surface and I do want to create a sketch. And what I want to do is create a two point rectangle and I'll go from this uh, center line here to about this section here. I want to leave a little bit of spacing in between the walls, right? I don't want to go too far. And I will um, round this off, but not just yet. So don't worry about this intersecting because it won't later on. And let's go to create mirror. I want to mirror the top right and the bottom line. And for the mirror line will be the center line. Hit OK. Now I can shift select both of these as well as left click while holding shift and select this profile as well as the other one on the other end. And remember you have to hold down shift, hold down the left mouse button and find profile. Now we can right click, press pull and I can press pull this outwards. And I'll press pull this to about this section here. Once I have this here, I can change from cut to new body. And I want to hit F to go to fillet mode. And I want to round this off. And I want to leave a little bit of spacing at the bottom. And this is imperative that you leave this a little bit of spacing. Because what that allows us to do is hit OK. And to create a sketch from this point of view here. So I'll select this surface. And I'll go to create sketch. Without that uh, spacing, we wouldn't have been able to you know, create a sketch on this. So what I want to do is basically uh, use a two point rectangle once again. And from the center line, I'll go up, leaving a little bit of spacing in between. I'll make my way up to the top right there. Right click hit OK. Then I'll create another mirror, the top right and the bottom mirror line being the center line. Hit OK. Now I can shift select all four of these profiles to press pull at once and get that cutout shape that I need. And you don't want to go too far back. Remember, you want to go just far enough to, you know, establish yourself. And once you're satisfied, we can ensure it's on cut. Hit OK. Now we have this shape here. And this is subject to change at any point. So if we don't like the thickness of this, we can easily select um, one of these walls and pull them in as we need fit. So once we're satisfied, hit OK. Let's go to the bottom, select this surface, create a sketch, use the offset tool. And I want to create a nice little offset by selecting this bottom border. And we'll middle mouse scroll out to select this widget tool and we can just pull this in at the bottom, just a little bit smaller than the original shape, and we'll hit OK. Now we'll select this profile at the bottom, right click, press pull, and I'm going to press pull it to this surface here. And once we have this, change it from cut to new body, and I want to hit F to fill it, and I'm going to round off these corners here at the bottom. You can find them just by hovering over the general area. Hit OK. Now we can start to you know, have some fun with this area over here. We can start to round this off. Hit F. We can fill it with this going upwards. F again. And we'll round off this inner area. And let's not forget this surface or edge or border, whatever you want to call it. it. Doesn't have to be big, it can be minuscule. And I want to combine these two bodies together, so I'll go to modify, combine, combine these two halves, 
join them. And I do want to round off this area here. So what I'll do is isolate this. So I'll right click, go to isolate on this body. I'll hit F to fill it. And I want to fill it this slightly. And then we'll hit F and we'll round off this bottom corner, this bottom corner slightly. Right click hit OK. And lastly, we'll just round off this entire border. Now we can right click back on this body and unisolate this. Now we have that button that we need. That looks good. And maybe it's extruding a little bit further than we would like it to. And we can easily chop it off if we need to by this surface. We can go to modify split body. And if you don't like this, you can split it. I like it extruding out a little bit because it adds and helps with the breakup. So I'll leave it. And now we'll just see what else we need to uh, go about fixing. And there is something else I do. I would like to fix on this. And that's just to combine uh, this body with this body because these are both orange. So I'll go to modify, combine, select this entire handle area and as well as this area here. And we can just combine this. Ensure it's on join, hit OK. And uh, depending on what do you want to do with this model, if we're just 3D printing it, you know, we want to, you know, leave these uh, or combine this section with this section. There would be no separation between these two models. This model would only be broken into three parts, one being this power drill section the main area and the base. But since we're going to be adding materials and things like that, I'll uh, actually, you know, leave these separated for now. And I might add a bonus video where I go through the process of uh, the 3D printing uh, preparation. So this looks fine to me. And uh, let's just double check, see if anything else needs to be fixed or rounded off. I will take this tip here and Round this off slightly. Is it okay? Everything else is good to go. Yeah, so this is good for now. Uh, we're done with the details. And in the next video, we'll start adding some materials. So I'll catch you in the next one.